Hello guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be reading Jack and the Beanstalk and it's by Mark Chalmer and Maria Appley. So let's start. Deep in the countryside lived a widow and her son Jack. Their cottage was crumbled and their clothes were patched. They were very, very poor. One day, Jack's mother said, We must sell our cow, take her to the market, Jack, and bring home some gold pieces. And so he set off to town. Before Jack had got very far, he met a strange little man. That's a fine cow, the man said. I'll swap you for five magic beans for her. Magic beans, said Jack. Are they really magic? Magic they are. Or, or chopped off my beard and knitted it into a jumper. Croak the little man. Magic beans. Jack couldn't wait to tell his mother he clutched them tightly and ran all the way home. Jack's mother was furious. We need money, not useless old beans, she cried. And she threw them out of the window in disgust. But later that night, a tiny bean spot poked out of the ground. And it grew, and it grew, and grew. The next morning, the beanstalk stretched high into the sky. The beans were magic, Jack cried. But what's at the top? Jack climbed up, up, up the beanstalk. At last, he reached the very top. Top there, shimmering in the sky. Sunlight was a magnificent castle. Just then, Jack's stomach rumbled. I find I must find some breakfast. He thought when he trapped, tapped on the door, on the castle door. But suddenly the room began to shake. Boom, boom, boom. Goodness me, cried the giantess. He's coming. And she shoved Jack under a teacup to hide. And into the room stomped a big, scared, hungry giant. Fee, fi, fo, fum. I, I smell the blood of an English man. He, he said, be he alive or be he dead, I'll grind your bones to make my bread. Don't be silly, there's nobody here but us, the giantess called. Now go and have a wash before breakfast. Jack trembled and shook. I must leave now, he thought. 
He was half way down the hole when he heard Squat! It was a hen with bright golden feathers, help Hutch said. Me free and I'll lay you golden eggs every morning. Jack scooped up the hen, but then he heard huge footsteps thundering after them. roared the giant. I smell the blood of an Englishman. And there he is. Jack raced out of the door. He jumped. Turned down, down. And slid down the beanstalk. Down, down, down. All the way back to his cottage. Mother, quick, bring an, the axe, he shouted. Jack's mother swung the axe at the beanstalk. I shudder and shook when then the giant came tumbling down. Fee five fo crash And that was the end of the giant Jack who hooked his mother tight. Look what I found, he said, and he shone her the golden hair. Oh, Jack, said his mother, I'm so glad you, you're safe and you were right about those magic beans. So Jack, so Jack, his mother, uh, and the golden head all lived happily ever after and which lots of golden eggs they were never poor again i hope you enjoyed jack and the beanstalk make sure to comment down below like and hit the notification bell and subscribe. Love you all. See you soon. Bye.